Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We're rolling down the road. We're heading down to actually going to Girl Scouts right now. Um, but uh, Sunday, we got the start of the Garoppolo era for the San Francisco 49ers. Honestly, I can tell you that since opening day, this is probably one of the true highlights of the 2017 San Francisco 49ers uh, year. Um, Garoppolo, when he was traded uh, to the Niners, uh, from New England. Um, it looked like uh, that was going to be the start of a new era. Um, Garoppolo has spent the last three weeks, including the bye week, sitting on the bench. Late last game, um, we, we got Garoppolo coming in against the Seahawks uh, for three plays. He handed the ball off once, threw a completion, and then on his third pass, threw a touchdown. Still wasn't enough to get us in the discussion of beating the Seahawks. But this Sunday, we got the Chicago Bears. My buddy, Team Rye Rye's Chicago Bears. That's right, Rye Rye, I'm calling you out because as of right now, I believe your Chicago Bears are three and eight. Last place in the NFC North uh, behind the uh, Aaron rodgers list, uh Green Bay Packers, behind the Lions, uh, behind the Vikings. Last place, Rai Rai, you ain't gotten much smack to talk about me. So hopefully you're watching this. Hopefully you make yourself a little Bears video. Uh, toss it up on the Team Rai Rai channel. Because I want to hear what a Bears fan is actually looking forward to on Sunday. Other than playing the San Francisco 49ers. Um, in my opinion, this honestly is going to be some very ugly football. The Niners are not a good team. The Bears are not a good team. By me saying that this is the start of the Garoppolo era does not mean that I think that the Niners are just going to come out and just start shooting. We got a lot of problems with this football team. Number one, who's going to block? Who's going to protect Garoppolo back there? Um, that's our main guy. I know that he's been trying to learn uh, the Shanahan playbook. And, um, you know, some people say that that's, you know, pretty... Pretty big, pretty thick, a lot of weird shit going on. It's not like Bill Belichick and, and, and the Patriots. It's a whole different uh, whole different play call, a lot of stuff going on. But, um, you know, I honestly think that uh, the guy should have played by now. And uh, that, that's me not knocking um, CJ uh, Beathard. I think that he was a great quarterback. Um, I, I can honestly think of a lot of San Francisco 49ers starters that I would not want starting uh, before Beathard. I'm not saying that people are going to put him on the wall of fame. People are going to be remembering him. Because honestly, the one thing I wanted to do before making this video, besides looking up the Bears record, was look up some past starters uh, from the 49ers that I would be able to shout out saying, hey, C.J. Beathard is a better starter than this guy, that guy, or the other guy. Everybody knows um, that basically... Um, between uh, Alex Smith and Jeff Garcia, if you're a 49ers fan, we had a lot of guys under center that shouldn't have been there. Because honestly, when you think of the 49ers, I can honestly say that in my lifetime, um, the starters for the 49ers have been Steve DeBerg, he gave it to Joe Montana, who gave it to Steve Young, who gave it to Jeff Garcia. I mean, that's a pretty damn good job of recruiting quarterbacks to play under center in San Francisco. Uh, and, you know, after that, we had a few guys that, um, you know, had some hype, could have been, should have been, but they weren't. And that's just honestly um, the way it goes. Um, so I'm looking forward to Sunday. I honestly think that this is a game uh, that the Niners could win, should win, um, but it honestly could go the either way. Um, the Bears, you know, they're going to be out there. They're going to be playing for it. Um, what the heck is that guy's name? I was going to call him Nowinski, but that's the dude that's on the freaking Mavericks. Um, Mitch Trubitsky, that's his name. Uh, honestly, he was um, on the board. And the 49ers could have picked him, um, but I guess they saw something else out there maybe didn't think that he was the guy to be the main guy a lot of people thinking that the Niners are going to make the move the next season to find their starting quarterback and I guess they now have Garoppolo we'll see if that sticks but um I'm looking forward to this maybe he torches us and maybe we'll look like the biggest idiots in the world uh for letting the Bears you know trade up to take that pick so Sunday a lot of backstory we'll see what goes down peace out everybody Rye Rye Looking for you, buddy.